in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to hide or show widgets on specific pages on your wordpress website uh, this technique will help you uh, gain control over where a widget should show on your page or on your post and where it might not sh it must not show uh, that is where you don't want it to show um, first thing we need to do is to get a plugin that will gain us this control and uh, that is we have to head to the plugin section and then go to add new so we're going to search for a plugin called widget context um, this is the plugin that i like to use it's called widget context uh, you need to uh, uh, install it and then activate it mine is already installed and activated so i'm not going to do that again once you have the installation done and activation then you can add to appearance and then add to the um, widget section of your wordpress website and then as you can see i have my main sidebar here and all the widgets that are in my sidebar so my goal here is to make sure that some of the widgets don't show on the contact page so i'll select one of the widgets that i don't want to show on the contact page uh, since i've installed the widget context you will see that there's a section here within your widget settings uh, that says widget context and it shows you a field where you can choose what type of control you want to um, gain or you want to have uh, to, to set for this particular widget so when you open uh, the drop down you will see there's quite a number of options but since i just want to hide uh this widget on the contact page uh, i'll take the hide widget on selected uh you can see there's a number of options uh for you to choose from on how you want to hide this widget uh you can i you can hide it on a group of uh, uh or a type or a taxonomy uh of um you can hide it on a group of pages uh, on a group of uh, certain group of uh, pages or posts uh, you can uh, see we have the post type and taxonomy you can choose by post type or taxonomy and that means if you check any of this any of this post type or taxonomy that widget won't show there you can go with the global settings uh, you can hide it from all posts all pages all attachments search results 404 and all that kind of stuff yeah that uh, you can choose that you can hide it on pages with a certain number of uh, word counts um, maybe uh, you have that some pages that have less word counts and then you can say if a page is less than this many words then you can hide that there but the one that i like using the most is the target by url because it gives me a greater um, kind of control it's easy for me to to set i'll go to the page where i want to hide this widget this is the contact page and then i'll get back to my settings and then paste this page in fact you can only paste the name or the title of the page without the url it will still work so if i um if i uh let me see the name of the page it's contact uh, contact mamanchima so if i leave the name of the page or the title of the page uh, from the url here and then go click save and go back to that uh, page the widget that we are removing is this one here so if i do a refresh you'll see that it's it's uh it's going to go away okay so i'll also remove the search because when someone is on the contact page i want them to con to focus on contacting only let me let's remove the search uh widget uh, where is that it's here we go to the search and then we say hide widget on selected we use the url one we still have that url i believe so this is the url we can only leave we can it, it still works even when we leave the only the name of the page and then we click save uh, when i click save going back to the search page refresh um, i mean to the contact page refreshing you'll find that the search widget is also gone so um yeah this is one of the websites that i manage so that way you can manage to remove all these things that you don't want to uh, all these widgets that you don't want to show on specific pages um, i hope this uh, tutorial helps you so this is the way you do it uh, you can repeat it for any amount of urls that you uh, 
uh, want to hide a widget or show a widget on. So I hope this uh, tutorial helps you. It's uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, I hope this uh, tutorial helps you. If it did, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video or share the video. Uh, that's the way you show some love for us to keep on pushing this content and sharing this knowledge with you guys. We appreciate that you also come out here and uh, be part of the community. Please comment, like. Uh, if you have any question, leave it in the comments uh, section below. Uh, we can be able to answer that question. But that's it for today. Peace. Mia out.